Well, hello there, everybody. You guys want to learn about Uncle Tom's Cabin? Well, if you stay tuned, you might be able to. So, the Uncle Tom's Cabin was a story about the slave trade and what was going on around that time. This book was a good way to tell people about slavery and to see how bad it really was back then. The book Uncle Tom's Cabin was written when slavery was going on and the writer lived in a slave state before she wrote this book and her name is Harriet Beecher Stowe. The other people that were involved are the editor and the publishing company. They were the editor is Garmelia Bailey and the publishing company is Clark and Company and she lived in the north area of the United States where slavery was free and it was the state of Ohio that she lived in and she escaped from the state of Kentucky. The state Ohio was a slave free state unlike the state of Kentucky which was a slave state. And if you are wondering this right here is a picture of Harriet Beecher Stowe. And I guess she had a dip deposition. And this is the first paper of the deposition. And this is just some random picture I found that goes good with this. If you like to read it, you can, but I don't think you have enough time. This event was in a time that the slave trade was horrible. Because this is a poster of Uncle Tom's Cabin. The writer was in a slave state, but she got away to where she lives now. Well, she where she li lived then. And this is basically a human, a real picture of Topsy. But the last picture was like kind of a cartoon picture of it. But, yeah. Well, this is a picture of when they all were able to become together at the end of the slavery, and it was all over, and the person who edited it, edited it lived in Washington, D.C., and she was the only one for a long time, well, basically as long as the book was until it ended when the when Harriet Beecher Stowe died in 1896 and she was basically the first and the only one to edit Uncle Tom's Cabin and it was sad also because the no 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 because the um author she died right and it's not a very good thing when the author dies because that means the book was stopped, and but it's a good thing that there was only one editor, right? The copyright for Uncle Tom's Cabin was expired in 1890, 1893. Uncle Tom's Cabin was first published in the United States in, well... Let's find out. Well, if you want to find out, it was in 1852. Before the book copyright was expired and they stopped making it, it sold over 300,000 different copies. This event cost change for the United States in many, many different ways. The first reason it caused change because, well, let's see it. Stopped slavery, right? No, it's not slavery. Sla slavery. There we go. And it was a good thing that it stopped slavery because slavery needed to be stopped. And... Right here, as you can't tell, this is Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. He was the president when Uncle Tom's Cabin was written and published. 
this is another reason that this event came because the slavery is very cruel and it told the world because it was printed and published in the whole world including London it told the world basically how bad it was slavery was and they needed to stop it and this is showing that they're on leave which means they are free from being slaves which I bet all these people are smiling because they don't have to be no more slaves no more right this book changed people's minds because it told them how bad that it was to be a slave owner and how mad the slaves would get because you whip them and slash them and all that bad stuff, right? And it helped stop slavery, but it also opened people's mind on how this country should be a free country like it is now. And this is, well, another, another version of Topsy. Which I guess was a famous poster or something for the book, Uncle Tom's Cabin. So, yeah. Well, I guess now that you have known how much that the slave trade happened. And how it was a good idea to make Uncle Tom's Cabin that helped it stop. But this is the end. Yep, the end.